Hey maths enthusiasts there, welcome back to my channel Vedic Maths Tricks with me Guneet. Today we will be delving into another fascinating realm of Vedic Maths and our spotlight will be on the new technique which is division by flag and pole method. And if you're new around here, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe and share button and join us for a complete detailed course on Vedic Maths. Now let's understand this method. Now let's understand the first question of this method which is 1890 divided by 42. So here we do not divide the number here by 42, we divide the number by 4 and we take 2 as flag. So now let's write the digits. So 1890 and we'll write divisor over here 4 with the flag 2 and we'll write the answer or question over here. Now, since in the flag we have one digit, so we will leave one digit from the right and put a partition. So this part will be considered as the remainder part. Now let's start with the method. Now here, first of all, we'll divide 1 by 4. So 1 cannot be divided by 4 as 1 is small. So we'll take two digits, that is 18. So 18 will be divided by 4. So it will be 4, 4s are 16, so it's going by 4. So which gives you 2 as remainder. Now this 2 we'll write over here with 9. So it will be 29. Now this 4 will be multiplied with the flag that is 4 2s are 8 and which will be subtracted from here. So 29 minus 8 gives you 21. So now the next divisor is 21. So now here we have to divide 21 by 4. So it will go by 5. So 4 5s are 20. So we'll minus 20 from here. And what is left over here? 1. So 1 is the remainder. So we'll write 1 over here. So it will be considered as 10. Now we will multiply 5 by the flag which is 5 multiplied by 2. So 5 2s are 10. So we minus 10. So we get 0. So the answer is 45. So now let's take another example to understand this concept better. So here 6, 9, 4, 3 divide by 53. So here we'll divide the number by 5 and 3 we'll take as a flag. So now let's write the digits 6, 9, 4, 3 and we'll write divisor as 5 with the flag 3 and here we will write the quotient. Since there is a single digit in the flag, so we will leave one digit from the right and put a partition. So this part will be the remainder part. Now let's start with the question. So first we'll divide 6 by 5. So it's going by 1. So 5 ones are 5. Now we get 1 as the remainder. So this remainder we'll write over here. 19. Now this 1 will be multiplied with the flag. That is 1 multiplied by 3 gives you 3. So minus 3. Here we get 16. So the next divisor is 16. That means that 16 will be divided by 5. So it's going by 3. 5 3s are 15. So minus 15. We get 1 as the remainder. Now this remainder will go over here and will be considered as 14. Now this 3 will be multiplied with the flag that is 3 3s are 9 so minus 9 which gives you 5 as the divisor so here you have to divide 5 by 5 so it's going by 1 so 5 ones are 5 so it's going completely so the remainder over here is 0 so we'll write 0 over here and now here now this one will be multiplied by the flag that is 3 so 1 3s are 3 so minus 3 so we get 0. So the final answer we get is 1, 3, 1. Now let's understand this concept by taking more examples. So now let's take some more examples. So here 4, 7, 5, 2 is divided by 72. So here we will not divide the number by 72. We'll write 7 as the pole and 2 as the flag. Now here let's arrange the digits. So 4, 7, 5, 2 and We'll divide by 7 with the flag 2. Now here we'll write the answer. And since there's one digit in the flag, so we leave one digit from the right and put a partition. So this part will be our remainder part. Now let's start with the method. Now 
first we will divide 4 by 7. So 4 is smaller than 7, so we will take two numbers, that is 47. So it will be 7, 6 are 42. So we will write 6 over here and minus 42 from here. So 47 minus 42 gives us 5. So we get the remainder as 5, which we will write over here. Now we will multiply 6 by the flag which is 2. So 6 multiplied by 2 gives you 12. So we'll minus 12 from here. We get 43 as the divisor. So the next divisor we get is 43. So here we'll divide 43 by 7. So here also it's going again by 6. 7, 6 are 42. So minus 42. So we get 1 as the remainder and 1 we'll write over here. Now we'll multiply this 6 by the flag which is 2. So 6 2s are 12. So minus 12, it gives you 0 as the remainder. So the final answer we get is 66. I request you all to please practice these tricks thoroughly in order to use them in your day-to-day -day calculations. And if you want practice question book, then please WhatsApp me on the number given in the description below. Thanks for watching.